Jay in Santa Cruz, California writes to me, Hey Paul, I was surprised when you recently said, <laughs> uh-oh, I'm always in trouble when people are surprised by what I said, that digital USB connections to your computer creates noise that you cannot hear. If that's the case, why should we spend money to suppress it with galvanic isolation? Okay, well, if I said that, then it got misconstrued. So here's the deal. The noise on USB coming out of your computer, you cannot hear that noise. It's up in the megahertz, right? You can't hear megahertz. Can't even hear anything over 20 kilohertz. So this is very high frequency garbage noise coming through from your computer. Now what you can hear is the effects, the impacts of that noise, right? That's what you hear. So forgive me for having been so um, direct and saying you can't hear it. You can hear what it does to the music. You can hear how it degrades the performance of your equipment, but you cannot hear the actual noise. And I hope that makes sense, okay? So whether you use an air lens, which is our product that's completely galvanically isolated, or uh, there's a, a, a much less expensive product called the Matrix, and the Matrix is, I think it's like 500 bucks, it's a little box, and it, you plug the USB in and it cleans it all up and sends it back out and it makes a heck of a difference. Highly recommended, however you wanna go. But do consider somehow isolating that USB, because your computer is, hate to tell you, it's a noisy beast and that noise while you can't directly hear it, does contaminate the actual musical signal and makes all the grounds and whatnot unhappy in our digital products from DACs to uh, whatever we're connecting it up to. So by all means, try and get rid of that noise and there's a couple ways to do it, all right? I hope that helps and sorry about the confusion. Hey, I'm a confusing kind of guy. What are you gonna do? All right. Thank you.